Where are you going, Ruby? You going for a hike? Good afternoon. It's Melissa, your unlikely hiker. Ruby and I are going to try and hike a fire tower mountain. This is Spruce Mountain Fire Tower. It's short. It's only about a mile and a quarter up. I thought maybe Ruby could do it. So we're going to find out. Um, I thought I packed my spikes and apparently I never put them in my pack. So there's a really nice slushy spine going up the trail. So we're going to see how far we get. That was so stupid on my part. This trail borders up against private property on both sides. So you don't want to go off trail. We're going to see what we're going to see. Let's see how far we get. You can see that there's some rock walls. I'm sure that's a delineation for some private property. They're kind of all over the place. Ruby. She just yelped at something. She ran. I don't know what the problem was. I can see why people are wearing spikes, but the the spine is actually pretty slushy because of the sun right now. So fingers crossed. If I have to walk through the snow on the way down, I will. Not a big deal. But it is gorgeous out. Bluebird day. Go on, Ruby. Come on, come on. Let's go. I forgot how annoying it was to hike with a dog with no manners. <sighs> there is nothing not gorgeous about today. Especially here. Let's go. Ruby. Come here. Come on. Good girl. I don't know how many of you follow Jay on Adirondack Woods Walker, his channel. He is doing merch magnets. And he had all kinds of cool merch. So this is my shirt. And I love it. Thank you, Jay. It's great. Got my stickers. All set, you know? Oh, you should do a dog shirt. That'd be great. Ideas. Since this is such a short mountain, it's actually a really good place to come after work. See a sunset. Gotta climb the fire tower for a view. But, you know, short hike. Something quick to do. Get some steps in, exercise your rambunctious puppy, all those good things. And it, it's not hard at all, it's not hard. Yuck. What are you doing? Let's go, we're going this way. Ruby's getting a little tired. We're going to take a, a break at the top with some water and some food. And uh, I'll let her rest for like 15, 20 minutes before we head back in. Somebody's tired. <laughs> so I brought my big pack in case I needed to carry her. I do think she'll be fine uh, coming down now. Right? Right? Blech. <laughs> Are you being bold? Ruby made it to the top. I gave her, her a place to sit and she doesn't want it. 
Ruby, your vest matches your dishes. It's really warm up here, I can't believe it. I'm sitting in the snow. I brought a little foam pad for Ruby, but she actually does not really want to settle down. moment when you realize that your big camera, you forgot to put your card back in it. Yeah, it's right now. <laughs> I think that's looking at Vermont. Ruby is waiting her turn to go up. Here's a view from the top. So we're going to head back down now. A couple things to point out. Some kids came up here. The second they put their packs down, they crack open alcohol. Listen, we've all done it. But late in the day, temperatures drop quick. Just not smart. Anywho. Second thing to point out, some people came up, also young, absolutely gorgeous German Shepherd. Now, Ruby has been leashed most of the time that I've been hiking. A couple times I've taken her off leash. Um, I was just standing there off to the side with Ruby, waiting for them to pass. And I feel like that's been because Ruby likes to walk around me, tie me up. Uh, anyway, so I was standing there waiting for them to pass and the German Shepherd comes bolting about 20 yards and barrels into Ruby growling. Dog, oh, Jesus Christ, dog probably about 80 pounds, Ruby 14. People need to keep their pets leashed. So we are headed down the 1.2 miles so ish. Um, I feel like it took me an awful long time to get up there. It didn't help that I was like walking around in slush. Oh, my feet are frozen. And um, I did bring extra socks, waterproof socks, I found them. But I'm not gonna put them on. I think maybe I'll wait till I get to the car. Cause my feet are soaked. I walk right through some slush. Anywho. So yeah, the PSAs on the, on the drinking and the people who had an unleashed dog that T-boned little Miss Ruby. Don't do that, it's so rude. Anyway, let's keep going. There's Ruby. There is she, there she is. All right. Somebody decided they were a little, a little tired. Actually, I, I think it's less tired and I'm more, more her, um, her paws were cold or something. So anyhow, we are making our way down. I did bring my big pack in case I needed to carry her out. You see, she's getting wiggly now, so I think she wants to get back down. So I don't know, we'll make it out. I don't want to stay here. It's going to be cold. You ready to get down here? There you go. All right, let's see what happens. There 
you go. Good girl. This way. Ruby just met the cutest blue tick coonhound and a little white mark on uh, his forehead was shaped like a heart. He's so cute. And much more friendly. Hey, Ruby, you ready? Come on, let's go. So, although I made it perfectly fine up and down with no spikes, I really wouldn't recommend it. You know, one thing you can do that I've never done, but you can, is, uh, is um, you take little machine screws and you screw them into the bottom of your shoe and it's like little spikes for your shoe. I used to carry around some just in case, but all those just in case things that I used to carry, I don't carry them anymore. I couldn't even tell you where they are. But it might be interesting to dedicate a pair of sneakers for that very purpose. We are almost to the car. Jeez, did you see that? She's stronger than I think. Come on, Ruby, let's go. Thanks for joining us on uh, Spruce Mountain. Ruby's first mountain, Ruby's first fire tower. That's pretty impressive for such a young girl. Anyway, uh, it's getting nice out. Hope you're getting out and uh, doing something fun. A lot of spring skiing left, so there's always that. Don't forget your micro spikes. Or if you're heading up north, don't forget your snowshoes. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Uh, we appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so you know when I put out uh, all of my really awesome videos. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.